Good evening and welcome back to Actry Town. Where in the last episode I asked which one of these should we go with, and with a phenomenal two people voting, one of which was me, um, we're going with this one here. Um, so yes, I voted for this one here, and Senjin opened for this one here, which by my calculations mean this wins by 15 votes. So we're going to go with this one here. Awesome. So, um, uh, uh, goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you for your services. Uh, the houses will then go in between um, the runs like this. Uh, do, 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 do. Oop. And uh, wherever we're going to put the last two houses, um, I don't know. Uh, there. And then we can drag this out there. We want to do the crossings here as well. Boop. Boop. And. I don't know if I want to do the crossings here or not. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. It, I just feel like maybe it looks better if we do them. Um, I feel it, it looks better overall. So um, that's purely for looks, that one. It's not necessary, but it's purely for looks. So, so well, there you go. So, um, drop off here. Stuff comes in. Um, oh, got to, oh, 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 got to be careful now. Middle click is moved the camera. Also, I've changed it to middle click is now the pipette tool, so I select things. So, um, yeah, but middle click is move camera very quickly. But um, try and use the uh, WSD keys instead. So yeah, so this is this is the design we're going to go with now. So stuff comes in, unpacks, blah, 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 goes that, and then we just merge in the center, and we'll go up to four lanes should we need it. We will get faster belts as well. We get magic belts, so that'd be that'd be nice to do that there. And I think most things will survive doing this sort of thing. Um, the as I said, the lumber mill is kind of an exception to the general rule um, of that. Um, usually. It's um, uh, multiple items in and a single item out. So like it, two to one. So that means it is two inputs for one output. So that means a single belt out and and you know shared belt would be fine. Planks are kind of just one to one, so that's fine. However, this is not going to be this. This is going to be uh, farming, and then the one below is in forestry, and the one over to the left is going to be mining, and then processing. So this one is the processing tab. So this is the one we want to actually put these things in. So, um, yeah, however, what we're going to do with this one is actually kind of, I need to generic it, but <sighs> yeah, so we're going to modify it slightly. All right, we're going to do this and then we'll do. Mm. Okay, 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 we'll do, oh wow, that, right, and then we'll do the same for the top, so we get rid of that, 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 let's get rid of two belts at once, isn't it? Yeah, get rid of two belts at once. That's why I'm confused by it. I'm like, I'm only clicking one cigarette. So I'm going to do this here. Okay, we're going to get rid of the lumber yards. Okay, we're going to reset the filters on this guy um, to uh, be defaults. Train station like this. Bump. But what we're going to do is we're going to edit a thing um, and we're going to have. Uh, no, we'll leave it like it is. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and then the grabbers, we're going to change to be something that will never end up in our system. So um, I don't have to worry about it randomly grabbing something that I wasn't aware of. So we're going to set it to nothing. That's what we're going to set it to. So copy, paste, paste, paste. Paste, paste, paste. Paste, 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 paste. paste. Ah, but, okay. Okay. So, yeah. So nothing at all. And then we can copy this whole thing. Um, I might put, like, barns in or something just to represent the um like that so we know these are the things that get replaced with stuff so right now it's copying nothing and i'm doing that so that if we ever plug it in and plug something in and forget to set one of the filters it won't mess up the filters it won't mess up something so um we, we have to set all the filters ourselves manually so that's fine and i've gone down to a single row there because i can't edit the blocks underneath 
So if I had two rows of uh, belts on, on here, I can't edit the grabber underneath in the center. The end one I can get to because of the end, but I can't get to the center one, so. Okay, and then we do this and we go uh, move because we can move it and we click up and we go over here and we dump it up here like this. Put on. There you go, and that's our, our thing. Well, I'll good thing there. Um, I have also done over here, um, I have replaced the station, the uh, um, barns with uh, train stations. Um, they are slowly filtering out and through. Um, so, yeah, they're, just, they're all feeding into this one. This one's feeding into that one with only one filter, but that's that's not a problem because it shouldn't be fine. It should be fine. Um, just because um, train station stores. 1600 goods and they are the same as the barn so i'm just going to use train stations everywhere instead of barns from now on okay so this is processing we need to do processing but we need to kind of start with the um i suppose we start at the start we'll start at the start so this is going to be our farming town correct this is farming farming Oop. farming is basically crops and a little bit of um like animal feed and stuff but i've got to be uh but it's basically crops that's what's going to basically be it's, it's crops so um anything that they farm is involved with it does also have in there however wool leather fertilizer eggs chicken fish so farming also covers um uh, animal uh, farming so uh, i don't think that is anywhere else in here at all but that's cooked fish that's not it commerce we're ignoring uh, that's fine that's magic uh, that's cooked stuff as well and uh, yeah so so this has to have all our farms in it and enough stuff to do the wool and um things because some things actually require wool and some things require cotton so we need to have all of that involved in one go so how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to build a farm or several, and they're going to go in the center, and they can actually get influenced by the town, the uh, houses, because it's close close enough to it. Um, we need a house there. Let's copy this guy and put you there. That will copy that. And then we're full on houses, so we can't go anymore. So that's fine. What's this? This is a farm. Okay. Um, so, right. So the train line's going to be here. Jump, going along there. So uh, the train lines, this comes up here and goes along there. And let's look at our... Okay, I'm going to move this as well. I'm going to move this a bit more central. So I don't have to keep wandering so far. Let's move it up to... Um, let's put it here. Let's put it right there. Boom, there There's our map. It's our map. So we're dealing with this town here. So we're going to... Uh, load on that end. And unload on this end. Okay, now loading, there's not going to be any loading for a farm. I don't think. Uh, when it comes to watering and crops and other bits and pieces, um, I think there was a way to show what well, data. Uh, turn off production, uh, crops. Yeah, yeah, there's a way to show the stuff on the floor. So um, we have like grain here, so we're good. We've not really got anything that isn't going to, like there isn't a big patch of trees, maybe. Yes, there is. There's a big batch of trees and places, which is going to be a problem. Uh, does farming also cover orchards? No, that's forestry. Forestry is covering the orchards. Apples, pears, and dragon fruits. Okay. Makes sense. So, because wonderfully I have future knowledge of the game, I know you need more grain than anything else, because you need stupid amounts of animal feed to get your own feed so that's what's going to happen actually we're going to ship out the grain to be processed and then come back for animal feed because we have animals here yeah okay so if i want to spread the load on this here so what i want to try and do with the way i design them is make sure that we don't like have all the processing in the center rows um this got like so this requires five items and this requires five and this requires five and then the center rows is just completely full i need to spread it out a bit more but you kind of have to start at the center and work out because the towns are smaller however we can trick that remember we can tricky tricky that so um if i was to uh move this guy down here and i think i no, if I could move it here. So if I move you out of the way, you will lose your town speciality of processing. That's fine. So I put you there. Um, 
Also, I keep going to this tab for Town Speciality. Um, it's actually on the side there, but I can't press the button, so I have to go here. Okay. Uh, but now it's connected, we can click it and we can go upgrade and we can just upgrade it and again and again and again and again and again and we go, we are now level 8, which is awesome, okay? Um, and then we can move you back to here and hey, look at the influence and it doesn't matter, it doesn't have the things, it stays, it keeps its thing, it keeps its influence. That's basically the entire area, okay? Um, I think 9 goes to here and 10 goes a little bit beyond this and then covers all of it, so... But that, as you can see, is basically the whole area. And we could even get some things in here on the edges with stuff. With the houses expanding things, you can definitely get things further. So, so yeah. Um, so, there we go. So, we'll do that. And then we'll just move you back so that you guys have got a town center because none of you are getting the happiness bonus now. Put you back there. And then we'll make you a processing place again just to make stuff faster. Boom, there you go. Awesome. Okay. Also, what do we need for farming? Um, the requirements are two farms and a pasture. Easy, easy. So if we're going to want lots of grain, um, I kind of want to start with putting grain in. Uh, and this is good because we're already at the town level eight before we're starting to do this. It means I can I can kind of pick anywhere in the grid to do it, with the exception of this one place here because we can't move fire temples yet. Um, so let's put this... Um, if we put it up here, I'd have to move the houses. That's not a problem. Uh, 11 by 11 as well um, is uh, um, uh, also the same size as the um, the farm's area. Foresters are bigger than that, but... Uh, so what if I was to put... I'm thinking... So that's an input, that's an output, and that's an input, and this would be an output as well. Okay, so what if we put like four grain farms here in a row and fed them onto one or two belts that go this way? Because I know we need lots of lots of farms. I know we need lots of lots of grain farms. Grain farms are like the biggest thing you need. So let's do that. Uh, we need to. Um, I'm gonna click the auto manage on these, and then I'm just gonna copy and paste them because I should have done that straight away. Um, and they will have nothing, nothing available. If we then go and find some grain, doo -doo 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 -doo, middle click, there you go, bump. Okay, um, and then we can just increase our size. And um, I like to pause the game to do this uh, when I put it all down because I like when it all springs into um, being uh, grown all at exactly the same time. Right, so we'll do this. Um, and that means all of them will start grinding their own and pause the game, and then the whole thing will go bing, 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 and get all the love hearts appear and everything to appear. I just like it. I just like it. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, you will need uh, to be packaged. Now, that's a problem for the farms because um, we obviously don't have any packages nearby. So we need to figure out that. That's where this comes into it. So I'm going to rotate the farms. I don't need to, but I'm going to rotate the farms for my view to this here and we're going to put a packager here and then we're going to go above this house and out with things so we're going to use some of the middle rows for moving things around and in and out of stuff there so i'll put packages here normally we can put packages in line we've shown the bit there but i can't do that at farms otherwise we use up valuable farmland i'm also not going to do the uh, ground yet because none of it has an affinity or some of it has the affinity of the wrong places i want it to use all the affinity up and get the most bonus out of it so by not putting any crop any crops um any fields down it means it will grow to only have a 10 yield get harvested and then grow again and remember you gain affinity bonus every time it grows it finishes a growth state so if you have the smallest yield available it will get the affinity quicker so okay packager so i want to put a packager here and i want to put a packager here and these are both going to be pack okay however they now can't get above those houses because there's no way to get above the houses. Um, these will want fertilizer as well, but um, the uh, the farm, not farms, the um, pastures will produce fertilizer locally. So I might ship that over. We might have like, instead of it going to the end out and come back again, I think fertilizer is only used to help. This guy's, I don't think it's used in any other thing. 
Uh, we want it stored because it's used to actually build farms, um, farmland, farm tiles. It's used to build farm tiles, but I don't think it's used anywhere else. It can be used as fuel. Don't really want to do that. That would make your food, make your bread smell very interesting. Um, but um, I think we'll just ship, like if we had the pastures up here, we'll just, in, the, in between the runs, we'll just ship it down and uh, feed these here. We might be able to get underground belts before we do that. Um, underground like omni pipe stuff, we might do that as well. But there'll be some belt spaghetti. It'll happen. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, what we need to do is we need to raise this up, however, because we need to go up by two minimum in order to uh, um, not affect the crops. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's move you for a moment to there. Move you to there. I could put them in these ones here, but this is where the input's going to be for if we have inputs for whatever we need to. I don't think the farm's going to have inputs, but I want to leave it free, so that's why it's going to go in between. Um, so, yep. Yeah, um, and then we go boom, boom, and then we fill in this one here. Let's do the same here. So, between you and you, you and you, and you and you. Boom, there we go. Oh, this one missed two. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. And then you can sit there, and you can sit there. Um, and I'm not going to bother. You, you can put pillars in underneath if you want to make it look original. Stuff like that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm not going to bother right now. Uh, these can be shoots, which is nice. Doop, doop, doop. And remember, the way a packager works is it looks for four of the same type of goods. And once it has four of the same type of goods, it will package it into a package and then ship it out. Now, this is not high enough to go above this house. However, we can ship out of here up to two or three higher. So let's see where, um, let me grab one of these and see if I can put it on top of the roof. So um, let's do that. If I go up by one, it lets me do it. However, before I do this, I'm going to transfer one of these houses to like here somewhere. I'm going to steal a level 10 house. And uh, you're not going to like me because... Uh, oh my god, we came from beauty and we're living... Where now? Where are you moved to the country? Well done, you escaped the country. Good job. Good job. Um, and that's it. So this is where I want to put the... The uh, the overhead. Literally, the overhead. Um, oh. Now, I'm not sure how many outputs I actually need. I'm going to go with one to start with. Actually, what we do, multiple of them. I'm going to go with one. Um, so, because this can package at a certain speed, so it can do one package per second. So it can compress four, actually, it can compress eight items a second. I can't remember how fast the belts are. They get, boom, that's what I love. That I love that. I love the ding, you get the whole, the heart thing. I love, I just, I just love it. It's, it's great, it's great. You have not copied the recipes from this guy, have you? No. Okay, I guess the auto manage doesn't um, doesn't do what I expected it to do. Are you not? Or you're not auto managed, are you? No. Nope. That's a shame. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. So, boom. so, so that's getting goods in. Boom, and it's packaging. It can only package up to ten items in it, and it's stuck. It stops working. So, bear that in mind. Uh, so we now know we want to go to the height of the windows. So if we copy this and go one, two, three, I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Three, boom. Okay, there we go, boom. And then we want to go. So this was a feed, and this is a supply line. So we're going to go down here. Um. Doop, doop, doop. And do do. I don't know why it says um, uh, it asks what the filter is. I'm not quite sure why, because. Uh, this is an input, so you can't output from input anyway, so I'm not sure why. However, I do think that the filters, you can still filter boxes by their contents. So if I was to filter this to grain, I think, let's find out, um, it would output boxes of grain. Grain is considered a, uh, when it's in a box, or when it's solid, it's the same thing. Uh, they're very flat boxes, which is interesting. I think, um, I remember them being actual boxes at one point, but I think they might have changed purely to help frame rates so yeah um yeah so if you filter it to grain it would also put a box of grain 
Now there is down here, there is packable item and item crates. So you can say, I want any item crate, that's fine. You can multiply filters, okay? So I could say, I could um, uh, go, it's an item crate and it's um, uh, grain, and it would output item crate and grain. Uh, if we were to come over here and try this, so let me pause the game so I can remember how to do this before it actually pulls anything out here. So if we say we want grain, and then we right click this guy and we go include item crates um, and then we right click grain and go um oh no it's right click so you can choose whether you want to have packed or not unpacked so you can choose whether you want to actually allow um items or items uh, but you can include exclude as well which is quite interesting um so if you want to say um like i want to have grain and i want to have pears now if i click it just does normal ones there if i hold shift and click it adds multiple ones here um so it'll output them but you can also like hold shift right click cactus fruit and go exclude and you see it's got a line for it so it won't let cactus fruit on here i don't know why you need that for a filter because it would only ever grab for a puller sorry because only it would only have a grabber it would only ever grab what it needs to but you could have a pusher that pushes everything apart from cactus fruit. You could just say, exclude cactus fruit. So if a cactus fruit comes along here, it goes down the line. Everything else goes the way I'm pushing. So, so yeah, you can right click and do things. Just remember to hold shift when you're right clicking if you want to do multiple things. Because if you right click and choose something here, it resets the whole thing. You have to hold shift for each item you want to do. So, yeah, so. Um, uh, none so you can also right click them and get rid of them so uh so we want to um i i, I realistically want to grab anything um uh, so i can just say none no item filters and just grab anything because we know there's only be one item in here or i could do it grain if i wanted to be 100 percent sure um and also um we could do uh only our pact put on and now you look at the symbol it actually says in the symbol if i get the right controls right um box it's boxed only box screen so the filters are very powerful they've got a lot of options to them they will become really useful when we do trains and i will also make some custom filters uh with custom objects in the games so um uh, i'll explain that but that would be much later so but um we'll get it for that we'll get it for that so okay so we want now want to run this across all the way to along to here and we want to drop it off at a train station here somewhere don't we we're going to have a dedicated grain train station. Station. I think I want to redo my action bar down here. So I don't need pick up items. Remove resource. I do want. Remove block. I do want. Although that's X. So I'm going to delete that because that's X by phone. That I use a lot of. Um, and let's put grabber in that up there. I don't use a well. I don't use a silo. We're not going to do a road. We're not going to do that. Houses I can find in the market. People we're not going to use anymore at all. Uh, footpaths I'm going to put as the first, in fact, no, I'm not going to put barns as the first one. Uh, um, footpath, shoot, metal convert, let's do that. Um, railway, we use loads of, uh, flattened down terrain, we use that. These are the ones for, for this here. So, other stuff I'm going to use, uh, not going to use a barn, we're replacing barns with train stations. So, drag that out, not the picture, drag the name out uh, to here. Um, this is advanced stuff we'll get to later um what other things do i possibly want to use i think that's really all i need on my action bar at the moment um spitters grabbers we've got rails um i might add houses back in um bomb um and then when we come to market about logistic blocks my thing will probably get filled with lots of these so that'd be fine um i should probably add like lo locomotives and stuff as well but we're not the I, I am old school. I use the build menu for everything. Um, I've even disabled that um, quick menu because I kept pushing E for the quick menu. So I've actually disabled that. Well, I've moved it over to here. So, yeah. Um, so I'm probably not even going to use the action bar to be honest. Most most of the time. So um, uh, most of the time I just pick. I look in the world and I just I just pipette things. So middle click is pipette things. Well, uh, Q is pipette things by default, um, which isn't a bad option actually. I should probably change it back. But I've I've got used to middle click. Although middle click has moved the camera. So I'm ranting about controls. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's uh, put in another one of these guys here. Let's do this here. So let's drag this out here. And if we hold control, it will stay at the same height. 
So I want to drag this all the way along to, I don't know where. We don't have enough planks. This is a problem. Because I removed the plank thing here, didn't I? We're not making any planks anywhere. Yeah, I need to change that back because uh, moving the mouse and then doing it is things. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. I do keep adjusting the controls to this game um, because I've got so used to other games. Um, change that back to Q. Uh, that I try and make them match and things like that. However, the weirdest thing with this one is that uh, uh, middle click to drag. You can see, look how look at little my mouse moving. How compared the map is moving middle click drag is ridiculous if you if you want if you zoom out and be like i need to get up there somewhere click yoink i'm here i'm here it's it's so fast it's unbelievable it really is um so i love it it's fantastic uh anyway distracted again yay uh so we're making planks here aren't we yes we are planks going to here do planks needed to be here anymore no they do not planks do not need to be here anymore so let's remove this here being extremely careful not to remove anything behind it um, let's put in a um, storage station um, it will put it across the road doesn't really matter um, and then we will do this and hold control Boom, there you go okay and then uh, you are you don't have any boosters you don't have anything so you're, you're going to start storing that so that's fine here um if i want to store any more goods for stuff i will add things however we're selling everything here uh rails a thousand rails is fine for the minute uh when we, come, when we come to production storing things we will do things a little bit differently oh i've just realized something i've just realized something that's not going to work for us that's not going to work for us stop 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 delete i actually need to put a barn here if it's an item we need to build with, you can't build out of stations. So I've got all these, um, uh, all these things going into here. Um, this isn't going to work. <laughs> However, it's fine. It's fine. I know what I'm going to do here. I know what I'm going to do here. Um, and I kind of wish I'd offset this slightly so we could start up here and go, go do, 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 do. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move one of you guys to here. And then we're going to delete the other two bars. Uh, and then I'm going to go one, two, and three. And have you filled this with a thousand rails. So all these will be a buffer. Um, and then this will have a thousand rails in it, which we'll be able to use to round thing. This is not going to be a, l a lot. Remember, we're, we've got like 49 tiles between the things. So if, if I was to uh, take a rail and just sort of start here and drag it down, um, you'll see... To get to roughly where the other rail is going to be is about here. That's 240, 250 rails. Um, and that's one whole of this. So we, we can do one loop and we've used a thousand rails. So um yeah. So we'll have this fill with a thousand rails, then we'll use a thousand rails, and then this will buffer up and then they'll feed some more in. So we'll have loads in stock, we just can't use them until they go into the barn. That's fine. Then we can always feed the barns faster. Um, which I might do now actually. Let's do this. Do, do, do. So you are feeding all the way through to this, and you'll feed to this here. Um, uh, we can actually make this even faster as well. By doing this. Page down, one, two, and three. So we've got nine inputs now. Look at it go. Awesome. And then it can go three by three by three. That's fine. This this will empty a bit, and then it will fill up again. Empty a bit and fill up again. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Should let that as barns. Just put more barns in there. Um, because I was going to say in the processing area we'll have the stations and stuff. But we also need barns for certain things. So if you like, if we're processing um planks, logs into planks, we need planks for ourselves. So maybe we won't use a train station in that instance, or maybe we will use a train station in that instance. But we'll also have. Some, it's going to be stored as... I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how we're going to get around that. We'll figure that out when we get to it. When I run out of stuff again, and be like, I need to figure this out now. Um, so, let's put a station in. Um, we'll put it in one tile away from the edge. Like that. Okay. Uh, these do not get any benefits from a... a um, 
tab centers anyway so yeah okay and then uh, my middle clicking i just turned that off didn't i idiot <laughs> oh no ah oh, boo boo i hate doing that i hate doing, i die i like that they made the change so that you can just mouse that you can just go to a grain and you can fix it by putting farm tiles down and then you can't replace them by mistake but um sometimes it it does come back to bite me so are you above the road you're above the road you shouldn't be above the road it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter um it kind of does because you're in the way of this now but uh so we're gonna go to we're well, not going to here but unfortunately it doesn't do that so we're gonna go to here and then go down no we're gonna go back by one no we're gonna back by another one there we go okay and then you'll do that and go into that one there that's fine uh if we have other outputs here nope this is not fine nope this is not fine um this is the other drawback that i haven't even mentioned um when it comes in so if we put one there then i can put another one next to it there then we can have two lines coming like this so um uh, actually you know that's fine let's go down stand over uh now i delete things on this line they will end up back in the base as you know but they end up boxed they're not packed in the base and you can't do anything with packed goods so um at some point we're going to have to have one of our places be a master storage uh, one of our town centers be a storage it might be a town center out the way on its own somewhere um just left alone um and it might unpack goods and just put them back onto the train system to go around and deliver to wherever they need to go to because um yeah yeah we might have to do that just just to just have somewhere where we can take all these things out we can use all these things in our storage to build with but um uh pack goods we can't so we need to unpack them so we might just have it like with a package next to it and it just takes whatever's packaged unpackages it and jumps it back in the base that might work that might work so but anyway you and our storage you are our first pickup train system so we need to figure out um the train layout for the tracks because i need to know how far the tracks away because we need to come in store and go out again and i'd like track uh, uh train parking which we have to figure out that'll be in the next episode so yeah there we go we um have some farms obviously we'll up these farms with people and stuff like that and, and make them faster as time goes on but right now we're in the building stages there's no point in speeding anything up right now we don't need mass storage of crop so but we'll leave here we shall come in next time we shall carry on from there thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun